Welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is ReactJS full tutorial series for absolute beginners. In the last episode, we started building the layout using components. We were able to put together the header, main content and footer. It looked like this and pretty raw at this stage. I will still say there is a lot of work to be done, but we'll keep adding functionality as we move along. For today's episode, this data that we put together was static. That means, let me show you the code quickly. We added each div as part of the HTML template. If you see, we repeated the divs multiple times. That's not a right way. Instead, we will learn how to loop data in today's episode. That's the context of today's episode. If you have missed out on the first nine parts, make sure that you go through them. I've covered everything in detail from scratch and I'll be covering all the topics still advanced where you will be comfortable writing your own react applications especially episode number nine don't miss that we are continuing to work on that today we are learning how to put how to use loops inside component now we'll be using array.map method to loop the particular array of objects that's what you would do in most real-time use cases a quick overview of the component we will define a component using export default function followed by the name of that component we will have a return method and it can have the markup that's what we also refer it as jsx also remember never define a component into inside any other component all right that's the context let's get back to work this is the code all right so so far what we have done if you look at this row we copied it three times and we are looping multiple um, you know, uh, same div card basically with col column three, three column layout that we are repeating multiple times. We don't want to do that. Instead, we want dynamic data. So for that, we are going to create an object first and I'm going to call it card data. It will be an array of objects. So the first data that we need here, if you look, this card has a card header title and text so those three keys we'll add and let's call it um, bank of america and for the title let's say bank of america traveler card and for the text um, we can say bank of america offers zero percent int interest for new customers okay this is just a sample similarly you can add uh, multiple things uh, I'll add one more and then we'll do a copy paste so let's say Chase Bank now you can give multiple as we progress along I'll make this data more polished so that it looks better in terms of the actual data and real time so we'll add a couple of bank details we'll add some real time credit cards etc for now, I'm just copy pasting it multiple times in randomly. So we have data set that will be alternate. Right. Looks good. I think another two should be good enough. This is good. Let's add one more and that's it. OK. All right. So we have added. OK, there seems to be okay so it says we it's not assigned so don't worry about it we are going to work with it so we got our array of objects data which is what is the bank and the credit card details now we need to loop it so for that the first thing we'll do is delete everything except for one div because that's what we will be looping so have this for the three column and the rest everything else i am deleting so now if you look our code I've deleted everything else. Now look at the template. I have one main content div that's closing here. I have one row which is here and I have the row column three and finally one div for the card. All right. So now we will use this template of the card to loop it multiple times. For that, we will first start with our writing our code. And here we are going to say card data dot we'll use the map method 
to get that information so we are saying the card will be one and then we'll also get index once you get that then you are going to open it here all right and then after this particular div which is of the card I am going to close the respective details and for that we will close this first close this then close the template right so take a look I close this then I close the map then I close the curly brace now all we need to do is replace these values and how exactly will we do that using JSX which is card dot you see the values are showing up header text and title so here I'll write the header similarly here I'll replace it with card dot title the last is the text so we will replace it with card dot text that's it so now all this has become dynamic in nature and now all the values that we created in this particular object will be mapped automatically let's go back to our application to verify our data so you can see here it's all coming up Bank of America Chase Bank that's coming but the layout seems to be broken so let's fix that so here we have the row closing here we have the column 3 and for each of the card we are plotting so we are looping it at the col column 3 instead we should loop it at the row then it will print all the data correctly so here I will open this and this will also go outside the div and that's what is good so now we are looping cards that's why it should be outside now the layout should be correct so you can see here now it's printing all the cards correctly Bank of America Chase Bank Traveler card with the text that is there so this is how you loop the data to get the dynamic values in that now I'm going to fix the header and instead of this we are going to call arc credit card bank and then uh, we'll call it home will be one option the next option will be credit cards the next option we can give is the retail store cards and last we will give platinum cards and finally so I have just given my better links here now you can see this is for credit cards this is for retail cards this is for platinum and we'll give search option right so our credit card our credit cards just call it our credit cards that should be fine and here we have the credit cards we have the we'll list down the brands that we want to display uh, let's say you got Puma you got Nike um, tell me your favorite brand as well um, I mean Pepe jeans so do let me know your favorite brand and which credit card do you have in the comment section all right so um, or we can do something like um, this is um, retail cards right so we can say shoes clothing um, grocery right so basically we can give some categories of store cards which we want to um, include so that would be a good option we can put some beautiful uh, functionality around it all right so our page looks good decent enough right now based on this you can also add some of the details now I'll go back to the cards now you can see here we can add BG primary that would give kind of a blue color background right um, instead to the header card header so this looks blue right now instead of that we can also use um, some of the uh, other functionalities and we can give different ones as we progress along but today's context of learning was only how do you loop the data inside a component which is what we have achieved as we progress along we'll make add pagination we will add search 
we will add filtering results and we'll also see how to style this with more data etc i hope you are coming along good on this project let me know if you have any questions or doubts i'll be more than happy to help you let's keep this learning continuous in the next episode i'm going to teach you how to use a component inside another component this is a classic use case where you will be using this on a day to day basis so you should know that join me in the next episode thank you